Hi everyone, welcome back. It is the Bentonator, surprisingly enough. So anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed the past month's worth of video in terms of going to an Apaca farm and going to another yarn shop. If you like those videos, let me know in the description or in the comments below so that way if you guys like it, I'll do more of that um, in my travels so that way it will be a lot of fun for both of us in terms of me making those videos and you guys enjoying them. But while I've been doing all that stuff in terms of traveling, I have been doing a lot of knitting. So this is going to be kind of a knitting update video of sorts, just so in case you've been wondering what I've been working on, um, it's kind of a show and tell. So the first thing that I actually got done, which is pretty cool, is blanket. Da -da -da. So I got all the knitting done. Um, it's a lace weight yarn which I don't normally work with something this skinny but it was a lot of fun but also the stitch I use something that I don't normally do it's uh, where it's very holy but it came out very nicely I just have to block it and everything um, just because I wanted to do something different and something fun you know every now and again you have to change it up a little bit so that way you don't get bored with your knitting but also during the last month I put up two different poles for my one skin uh, wonder or not one skin wonders one skin what should I do with them um, I actually both poles came out as hats so this is one of them um, I put the other one downstairs um, so thank you for everyone that voted in that I'm going to be putting up another poll soon which I'll talk about a little bit at the end of the video just so that way you guys can go vote on that and that way you can let me know what you think I should make with my next one skin project so that way you guys can help me out so also what I'm working on currently is actually since I went with lace weight I went something with a little bit chunkier now so this is much thicker which is nice and I decided just to do simple simple knitting and purling um, because I like the color how the colors kind of match up for not match up how the colors present themselves in the blanket so I, I thought I would keep it simple so you can just see all the color work the wonderful color work that is going on in the blanket so that's kind of what I've been working on a lot of blankets I don't know why see there's something really small or really big it's just no shawls or anything in between right now. Maybe a little bit later I'll do something in between. But anywho, so for my next poll that I'm going to put on Facebook, um, if you're watching this when it comes out or I'll run for a week, go over, hop over to my Facebook page. Um, it'll be pinned to the top so that way you can find it easy and you'll let me know what you think I should do with my next turn. Da -da -da -da. Um, a little bit different type of yarn. It is kind of a fancy type yarn. It is thick, but also kind of fancy. Um, so I have, let's find out. It is, uh, this one's kind of a central palette. Of course, I will put all the, dis um, all the details in the description below so you guys can check it out. But it's mainly acry acrylic and it's a little bit polyester. I only have about um, 86, uh, 68 yards of it, so it's not too much, um, it's definitely something for a small project. So I was thinking either, um, since Facebook only lets me have two options, I always put a scarf and a half for right now, um, those will be the two options, but um, if you have any other suggestions, you can always put in the comments below the poll, and I will read them and find them and let you know, so please do so. Um, hop on over to Facebook, like I said, check me out. Um, but also make sure to like and subscribe so you see all my upcoming videos. And I will see you next week. Bye!